From Shame Pinata, I'm Colleen Thomas. This is Daily Magic for Peace. Today, we will honor the medical professionals in Ukraine. Welcome to The Circle. I would love for you to grab or imagine something symbolizing healthcare today. The thing I thought of was the Band-Aid, because we tend to have those around all over the place. And they're a good symbol for taking care of ourselves. You might actually have one on your body right now. If you do, you've already got your item. And if you don't, it's fine to just think of a Band-Aid. And we're here in circle with everybody who's listening to this episode, regardless of when they listened or where they were when they listened to it. As things change in the world, as this conflict goes through its different phases, there may be moments where we feel more impacted by it or where things are heavier or where the news has just been more horrific. So there's always room for you to feel all of your feelings and bring them in We always want to presence the heartbreak that is happening. Our first grounding experience today will be a simple connection of one hand to another. If you're with somebody, see if they'll hold your hand, if that feels good. But if you're by yourself or you just feel more comfortable, feel free to hold your own hands. Just put your hands together. Feel what it feels like to be holding a hand, even if it's your own, just feel this connection. I invite you into an experience of feeling a connection. And if you're holding your own hand, you can begin to feel the energetic circuit that that closes. From the palm of one hand to the palm of the other, it actually goes through your heart. So feel into that and see what it feels like to have that circuit closed. Just noticing the temperature of your skin, what it feels like to have your hands together, what it feels like to have a hand in yours. It may not have that significance of somebody else being with you if it's your hand, but it can still be a kind of a comforting feeling. A sense of being here for yourself. Now, with your hands still together, I invite you to connect in with your heart. Let's take, let's take a breath together into the heart, breathing in and brightening that heart chakra. And breathing out, releasing anything that might be in the way of connecting. Let's breathe in one more time. And releasing one more time. And let's play with this heart energy with our palms. Let's allow the heart energy to go down the right arm into the right hand and send that into the left palm and up the left arm and into the heart, kind of making a circle. So the energy moves from the heart down the right arm to the palm of the right hand into the palm of the left hand and up the left arm. Just see what it feels like to cycle the energy like that. You can also do this with another person if you want to. Connecting their heart to yours through your arms and your palm chakras. Just playing with this, just sending it around. And when you're ready, I invite you to come back to your heart, just rest in your heart. You could maybe place one hand on your heart and another hand on a, another part of your body that needs a little bit of love. You kind of charged your palms up at this point. And let's take a breath. And we're going to turn now to our main intention for today, to honor the medical professionals in Ukraine. 
I know that a lot of the medical professionals there are Ukrainian and others have come in from other countries. And I know they are actively working in horrendous conditions, trying to save people's lives, trying to do basic medical care and trying to birth babies. I mean, they're doing all the regular medical work that happens around the world. While they're in a war zone, everything I hear, everything I picture in my mind from what I'm hearing just makes me fall into a great state of awe for these people who are doing this work at huge risk to themselves. They're showing up for their patients and the people that they maybe stumble upon that become their patients on the front lines. They're showing up in this incredibly powerful way. And I ask you to join me today in two aspects of this work. One is to honor them, send them protection on the inner, send prayers and magic for their protection, honoring their bravery, honoring their medical knowledge. So that's one aspect of working together today, imagining them being protected and successful. And the other aspect is the practical. There are people out there right now, probably as we are here together in circle, doing this work, and they need funds, they need materials, they need supplies, they need to to have a rest, they need all the things that they need. And there are so many nonprofits and agencies that are accepting donations to help. And I invite you once we have finished this circle today to see if there is a charity that you would like to donate to to directly support these people who are on the ground providing medical care. Daily Magic for Peace was intended to be something to do after donating, but as things continue on, I think we need to keep donating. So this is a a call to you today to consider how your donation might help, specifically the medical professionals, since that's our focus today. In the meantime, though, we want to imagine them with protection surrounding them and just send out, let's just collectively maybe open your palms, your hands out if that feels good to you and just join me in sending out protection energy and gratitude to them. Maybe imagining them feeling grounded, feeling in their body, feeling resourced, having everything they need to do their work and just being successful getting whatever they need spiritually to continue this work. Seeing that prayer go out, thank you so much. So, so, so much. Thank you so much to these medical professionals in Ukraine. And so it is. Thank you so much for being with us today. Your presence, your energy, and your heart make all the difference in healing our world. Remember to breathe today. (sighs) Breathe and expand. And I hope you join us again next time. And please consider inviting a friend. That's it for Daily Magic for Peace. You can increase the magic in prayers by rating and reviewing the show to help other people find it. Our music is by Terry Hughes. I'm Colleen Thomas. Thanks for listening.